Hello, thank you for joining me. Over there, there's a ferry called Seven Sisters. She goes over to Dieppe. We're at New Haven in Sussex. Here is the railway line. Just over there is New Haven Harbour Station. Can't really see it, but the track there goes to New Haven Marine. And then the railway line there goes up towards Seaford. This video though isn't really about railways. We're gonna go up there and explore an abandoned village. I thought that'd be something quite exciting to go and see. So I've got to follow this path. I don't think that many people walk along this path. And there's two ways I could go. One is straight along by the railway line, or one is over that bridge. I'm gonna follow the railway line. Let's go and find this abandoned village. I've now walked a little bit further along Mill Creek. I can see New Haven Fort in the background. I wouldn't have minded of going there today, but uh, it's not open uh, at the moment. Up there, I can see the cliffs in the distance. I can see some ruined buildings, and uh, of course, the railway line runs along there. So let's go and explore this abandoned village. I've almost come to the end of the creek. I believe there used to be a mill here that you can just see. I sort of expected the water would curve round and out into the sea because the sea is literally over there. In that direction, you can just see the name board of the old railway station. So we'll perhaps go and have a closer look and then we'll have a look around the village. I'll explain how it came to be this abandoned village here on the Sussex coast. come down here to the car park you'll see why in a second this is where if you wanted to drive and walk around the village this is where you'd drive to here is the old Bishopstone Beach railway station or Holt platform remains station opened in 1864 and it closed in 1942 or closed actually on the 1st of January 1942 so it didn't last long into 1942 I know this crossing is one of the, the most misused on network rail there's a green there a train did just pass and there was sirens and everything and the driver did a very long blast on the horn because i can't believe people are that daft but people actually do stop and take selfies on this crossing which seems very stupid i'm going to go straight across it is green i always check both ways and i like to just get straight across you, you don't hang about on the other side of those gates um anyway that is the old railway station you can see the platforms you can see the old concrete um what they call lampposts and then just up here if you look in that direction you can see the station's replacement up there at bishopstone so i'm probably going to continue walking until i get to bishopstone and then when i get to bishopstone i'll take the train back towards lewis that's my planned route home now we're gonna we're now entering the village it's not so much to see down this end but as we continue on further into the site there's various other derelict buildings and there's these little boards to tell you about them. I'll tell you about them in a bit as we go down. This did start at the old station master's cottage. It looks like there was also a branch line. Oh yeah, I can just see some ruined walls over there. It looks like there was a bit of a branch line into the tide mills. So, oh, and up there, that is the, um, as we already saw, the New Haven Fort. Let's go up there and have a look around this derelict village. Here's some of the abandoned walls of one of the buildings. So, the um, village was set up by someone called Thomas Pelham. He was the Prime Minister. He was also Duke of Newcastle. He obtained an Act of Parliament to start building the mills and the villages. Uh, the construction began in the late 1700s. Unfortunately, he died before it was ever completed. So he never saw it completed. It later passed on to another Thomas, a Thomas Barton. He developed the site, but it was in 1883, the mills closed. Some of them were used as bonded warehouses, but eventually, they were demolished in the early 1900s and by 1936 the remaining houses the council condemned them basically as slums they didn't have you know proper running water or sewage i understand most people just had toilets out the back and they just emptied it all into the sea so it wasn't really fit for modern life so that's kind of how it all came abandoned so what we're going to do 
Now we're just going to explore and see what we can see. The path I came along, I walked to here and I walked back down there to the old railway station. I came along that path. That will go to New Haven. As I say, everywhere you look, there's these pictures. Oh, that's interesting. Look, if we look here, there's a past and present. So that wall survives. We'll go up there and have a look. And I can see a bit of old railway line in that picture. So that proves there was once a branch line to here. I'm just going to walk up here just because I'm fascinated by the look. See this wall here? And this tree kind of forming like a shelter and then we'll go up and have a look by the sea look at this it's nice and cool on a hot day uh, i don't know what else i'm gonna find let's see what i can see over the wall uh, yeah. i'm gonna go the other way now we'll go back onto that main path i want to go and find the old mill and then i'd like to have a look around the village perhaps one day we could visit and do the do the fort up at new haven when it reopens what'll be quite fun with that is the seven sisters the big ferry we saw it'd be nice to see her coming in or out of new haven what we got here this is the site like, the old coal yard and stables it's all rather fascinating and then i hope you can hear me all right because it is getting windy kind of expected we are very close to the sea can we go in? I'm not sure. It's, it's a bit overgrown and I've got shorts on, but I want to, excuse me, I'm just trying to not get stung. Let's go in. Yeah, okay, it's still rather overgrown inside. Here, yeah, this is an old window. Um, oh, that's the end of the creek there. So that must be where the mill stood. Let's go back out. In fact, is this, I think this is where we were looking at the picture of possibly it's that corner which we could see. Uh, let's get out of here. I might be wrong, but yeah, I think that picture we were looking at is that corner there. It's just very overgrown. Go up here, we'll have a look down. Oh, this might tell us the wind's coming in. Yeah, so that's the end of the creek i can see various tunnels so i think what will happen the water must go through yeah look, it says warning deep mud and riverbed don't go down there if you ever come here oh i see yeah and then the water must flow on out to sea it all looks quite interesting over there what we'll do now i can just see beyond where that that rig is we'll go up there we should get a bit of a view over the rest of the site. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue walking along the sea towards Bishopstone Railway Station. So we're going to go up here. And we're getting a bit of a view over the site. Look, you can see a lot more of the, the derelict buildings down there. Completely the old railway station in the background. And we go through here. I'm going to continue that way. And let's go and have a look at the sea. We've made it to the sea, and I've also found some old railway down there, so that have all been part of the complex. It looks like the railway track continues on up there, so we're going to walk along there. There's a few more buildings. So, as I understand, the mill itself would have been there. There'd have been various cottages, but like I say, it was once the mill had gone, um, you know. There wasn't really any sort of possible reason to live here. Like I say, they had to condemn them. A few people did refuse to leave, but well, I think they were given some notice. They were given six or nine months to leave. Some didn't have to forcefully be um, asked to leave. I suppose if you don't know any different and that's how you've been brought up, you know, it might sound horrible today to not have flushing toilets and all that, but they probably just didn't know any different and they were quite happy. So they didn't want to move, but they were moved and most of the cottages fell into disrepair. And it's, it's interesting to find there are still some walls we can look at. And down there, look, there's the railway line. It wasn't really meant to be a video about railways, but it kind of has been because we saw it at a huge station. And now we're clearly walking along an old railway. There's various buildings here. Oh, I see, this was a hospital. Look, um, I mean, these are really helpful, these boards. So we're there. So it was the Charlie Marine Hospital. 
yeah, Charlie Marine Hospital there, and that was a nursing home. Well, that looks interesting. And there's something up there I've just seen, which I've looked at. And of course, the railway ran through the middle. I'm not sure what kind of traction they'd have used, whether steam would have ever come along here, or if it'd just been horse drawn wagons. But if we look at this into this concrete, I think the floor would have been laid on this, and um, a bit like underfloor heating, almost. Not that it's broken, but um, I'm not sure. And that clearly seems to be a drainer through a drain pipe. So this is all quite fascinating. Um, so this is the, the hospital, and um, we'll go up here, and then we'll go. We should be able to see the nursing home or the site of the nursing home. Over in the distance is Seaford. Over the beachy head, you eventually get to Eastport. So it's quite a fascinating place. And of course, Seaford railway line runs along there. If they ever to run a steam train to Seaford, they did do a, quite a few years ago. I think it was Seaford it was 150 or one of the anniversaries. It, <laughs> bloody hell. Sorry about that. I just twisted my ankle and it fell over. Um, anyway, it looks really good. Steam train go along there. There's quite a grazing up there to Bishopstone. I doubt we'll ever see steam along there because it's single track and there's no capacity. But it looked great if they did. I want to show you the nursing home and then I'm going to continue on to Seaford. I'm going to catch my train home. Not on this railway. Here we are on this old bit of railway line again. What I did today, I bought a return to New Haven town. I went to Paradise Park to a miniature railway, did a miniature railway Britain video, and then while I was in the area, I wanted to come and see this. It's fascinating. Look at that. So there's all this area kind of below the floor. So the floor must have been wooden and laid on top of that, maybe. I'm not so sure, but that is the site of the nursing home. And down there's the creek. Um, yeah, and it. Doesn't look like it flowed anywhere, so yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, we'll continue on up that way. So here we are, I think we've seen all what we're going to see. That way is looking towards New Haven, and then just up there is Seaford. Up over there is Bishopstone Station, so that's where I'm going to go to. I'm going to catch my train back to London. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate it wasn't the most detailed, because um, I wasn't down here to visit the miniature railway over at New Haven. I just want to might as well do this. So um, maybe one day I'll come and do a more detailed version, but it was just I wanted to have an explore. Here. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment from the beach at Bishopstone.